In today's video, we're opening a 2002 original Blue Eyes tin. What's up, guys? We are back with another old school Yu Gi Oh! tin opening, and I have not opened a Blue Eyes tin in a very, very long time. These things have gotten very expensive, even in the condition that you see here, not in great shape. Fortunately, they're going to make for an awesome opening. Lars actually picked this one up. So, you guys have heard from Lars many times recently and many times on the channel's history. So, shout out to Lars for picking this up and having it opened on the channel. This is going to be super fun. We're hoping for a really nice promo, but based on the look of it, probably not. And because 2002 tens, it's impossible to get a nice promo promos but i have high hopes for him we'll also be doing a giveaway i'll be giving away this ultimate rare gravekeepers commandant this is a german print i've had this card for like five years so it's being given away now just like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know down below your favorite card we pull and make sure to shout out lars in the comments because you know he's a legend i also have some extra packs we're going to open up as well because you know this is going to be a quick video if we only opened up this tent so we have battles of chaos i have high hopes for battles of chaos there's a lot of great cards in here i have a lot of battles of chaos packs because i really like the set i think it's a fun open so let's see if we can pull something great right here right off the bat smoke mosquito this is for me not for lars sorry lars no battles of chaos for you rock scales we have ghost Rick shot and dd griffin okay i'm hoping for the dark magician a starlight rare something like that we also have power of the elements i mean dpe starlight is something that could be in here which would be pretty exciting i would definitely lose it if we pulled that okay four from the back we have monkey monkey adrift we have brandon and central dogmatica sprite carrot Brilliant Rose, Scar the Vindred, Crosskeeper, Vanguard. We have Most Defiant, Deepest Depths, and a Sprite Elf, a pretty good card for Sprite. So I think this one got banned though. So, you know, that's it was that good. It was a little bit too good. I also have an Age of Overlord pack back there, by the way. So we do have a chance in an SP Little Night Quarter Century Rare. That'd be pretty cool. I mean, and by pretty cool, I mean, that would be like amazing. That'd be like the best card we could pull in this video. Eurodora Fate, we have Clear New World, Skill Brown Magician, Dalt Monster Bear Bear and nordic relic super rare but let's do the uh tactical masters not evolution that that would be cool if i had those tactical masters we have back here this is a euro pack so i think it's right at the back i don't remember how i got all these euro packs we have imperial runic allure smiting storm eclipse labyrinth we have a fiend greeting and hojo the val the valence warrior okay valence battles of chaos first edition up next can we keep it going one two three four We've got a Shining Peace Philia, Top Share, Ogdoic Serpent Strike, Rocks Special, Ice Shade Erosion, Tribe Drive, Epsilon, Dynamorphia Brute, Silvervine Sentry, and an Ice Shade Creation Kingfisher. All right, so uh, I'm not, I mean, Sprite Elf's cool, but we're not pulling anything super crazy right now. We're going to have to step that up a little bit. One, two, three, four. But we could save it for Lars. I mean, Lars, if we get something amazing for Lars, I'm going to be very happy. Like a Blue Eyes out of the Blue Eyes pack would be pretty awesome. Ravenous. It wouldn't be the first time we've done it in 2002 10s. Shift, Fairy of the Goatee. We did it back in the opening every 2002 10. Go check that out. It's a very old video, but... It was pretty amazing. Opening every 2002 10 in one video was extremely fun. We had really good pulls too, so it was awesome. Overfusion, Sprite Pixies, Nemesis Elephant. We have Double Dust Tornado, Hydrolander Orbit, Ice Jade, Crosskeeper, Vernislif. Oh, look at the centering on that, by the way. That is crazy. And then, oh, Shining Neos Wingman right after the crazy miscut card. That is actually insane. I kind of like that. And then that's a really cool card, a Shining Neos Wingman. Okay, a few more packs. Then I'm going to hop into Lars Tin, which is going to be pretty awesome. Very exciting. One, two, three, four. We have Ice Shade Erosion, Mad Hacker, S Force Lapswell, Dogmatic Cabre, Ghost Trick Siren, Neroy. Neroy, I cannot pull the card. We have Place. We have Ghost Trick Shot. The Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. I wish this was the Starlight, but I'll take the Secret Rare. That's pretty cool. The Jet Dragon. It's in Rarity Collections. It's going to have a million prints. It's going to be worth two bucks, but that's fine. Still very cool. Power of the Elements first dead. All right. One, two, three, four. We have uh, something. We have Converter. Sullyek. Adrift. Thrill Train. Digit Jamming. Sprite Gamma Burst. Uh, the Most Distant Deepest Depths. And a Scareclaw Straddle. Very cool. Also, one other thing I want to mention is that Rarity Collection 2 is coming in less than two weeks. We're going to be opening the entire set, pulling the entire set live, putting together the binder. It's going to be super fun. There's some pretty big cards in there. It's not as good as Rarity 1 based on the leaks, but it is still a really awesome set, and I'm super pumped for it. So I'm hoping that you guys will come out for those streams. We're going to be doing a Whatnot stream as well as a regular stream. That's The, the regular stream is the one where we complete the full set. Okay. Loka Samsara. We have Vanquish. The Immortal Bushi. Fall of the Sistina, Full Armored Xyz, Supreme King, Dragon Lightworm, Pendulum Evolution, a Lilarap, 
and a hoppy guidance of the Horus. So another super hoppy, happy, whatever, you know, close enough. Okay, I got a couple good pulls. Let's see if we can keep it up for Lars. Okay, blue eyes tin. I mean, there's so many like little rips in here. I feel like I can open this up. So yeah, there we go. Let's let's open this thing up. 2002 blue eyes tin. I mean, this is this is so much. It's a privilege to be able to open tins like this because they used to be 20 bucks. They are now like hundreds of dollars and it's just like so nostalgic. Like the number one most nostalgic product is Yu-Gi-Oh! tents. Maybe you could argue the starter decks, but those two are combined the big nostalgia moments. So getting to open these up, I mean, check that out. Even with all the, I mean, a little bit of a ding right there, but really amazing looking tin. A couple of dents in it, but it's still an awesome looking one. All right, here's the moment of truth. There's two blue eyes packs in here, which is pretty awesome. There's two metal raiders and one spell ruler. So very good selection. I think it's magic ruler because it doesn't do actually. The pack or the promo is in the back with no protection. So it probably has damage on the back. Let's see. Here we go. Oh, no, there it is. It's stuck to the back. Okay, you can see on the back all that crap back there. So it's likely going to be scuffed up. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Right out of the right out of the tin. The worst packaging ever. Unfortunately, the back looks terrible, but the front, not reverse secret or anything, but the front looks really good. Wow. Check that. I just put this in a sleeve. You'll never know. Put it in a sleeve. Not going to be grading it or anything, but if you put it in like a, you know, not an, an opaque sleeve, not, not one that you can see the back, but put it in a sleeve when you get it, put it in a binder, Lars. That's a really beautiful card. And as you can see, I mean, just, this just doesn't make sense. Why in the world would you have it in this thing that's just going to just scratch it up? So that's unfortunate. We do have the five packs though. These, this is where you could get a clean card. Okay. We're obviously going to start with Magic Ruler, which is still Magic Ruler because it you know, 2002, they changed it in 2003. So the old logo, old name, everything like that. <sighs> Come on, Lars, let's get you something good. Let's pull, I mean, Blue Eyes Tune is obviously number one. It's a 10, so I think you might get Serpent Knight. So I'm gonna go uh, Relinquished. Relinquished as our big pull. I mean, how can you go wrong? Anything tune though is pretty awesome, especially if it's a foil tune. We have Flash Assailant starting it off. Turtle Oath, Crab Turtle, Hungry Burger's also in here. Twin Long Rods, an amphibious creature with two whip-like tails. Whip-like tails. Course of Sanctuary. The Peacock. Yeah, you guys are going to watch some NFL playoff game on Peacock. No, don't do it. Peacock, you suck. Don't do that again. Wall Shadow. Stone Ogre Grotto. The Gaia Power. And finally, we have... Ooh, started off with the foil. Mahavilo. A little bit... Little bit off center, but the rest of the card looks pretty clean. Maybe a little bit of whitening up there. That is a nice looking card. These, I mean, you can go 0 for 5 easily in these 10. So starting off 1 for 1 is a fantastic start. Add that to the blue eyes white dragon we have, and we are rolling. Next up, Metal Raiders. I love this because you get two Metal Raiders, two LOB, and those are my two favorite sets. So that's pretty amazing. I mean, that makes these 2002 tens pretty insane. MRD, let's go. Give us a Pequeno Moth, please. One, two, three, four. Can we get another foil? We have tremendous fire. The fire is tremendous. Trent, the punished eagle. Armored zombie. Man, it's got some serious defense going on. Yeah, that armor is really, really helping out. Jellyfish, way off center. We have destroyer golem, still way off center. Mystic lamp, still way off center. The cheerful coffin, centered and Oh, a Garnesia Elephantis. So we are two for two. That's not bad. Maybe a little scuffing on the back. Centering is great on Metal Raiders usually. So it's not great actually there, but it is good. It is, it's better than a lot of sets. So two for two. What a start for Lars. Let's see if we can continue it up with the third Metal Raiders pack or the second Metal Raiders pack. Third pack out of the 10. Two for two. Can we get an Ultra now? Two Supers is good. An Ultra Rare could really turn this into an insane opening. Four from the back. We have... Armored Zombie. That armor's really helping. The Flame Sherberus. Known to many as the Burning Executioner, this monster is capable of burning enemies to cinders. Watch out. Battle Steer, a, full, a bull monster often found in the woods. It charges enemy monsters with a pair of deadly horns. How is it going to charge with those horns? They're on the side. It'd have to be like, ah, ah, I don't really know how that really, it would be pointing this way if you're going to charge with horns, right? But it's holding a, why isn't it charging with its spear? I'm just confused now. I'm just, I'm confused by that description. He is Sube. Guiltia the D Knight. Niwator, what's that mean again? Swallows enemies whole and uses their essence as energy. I've never read that card. Should have after all the jokes we have about it. Electric Lazard, can we go three for three? That would be insane. Thunder Dragon, that's a great common right there. And 
Muka Muka. All right, Muka Muka, sure. Not three for three, that's fine. We still have two more LOB packs. Which one do you think is gonna have something? This one's a little bit skinnier. Neither of these are fat packs, no body shaming, but no, neither of these are fat packs right now. So I guess we'll just keep it in the same order we had it. These are a little warped on the comments, but the foils were not warped, which is interesting. Okay, LOB 2002 original print. A blue eyes out of this, I mean, PSA 10 is worth a decent amount because it is the original print. It's not first ad, but still original 2002. And there's so many prints of LOB that you know, the original print means something. We have Sogan. Mystical Sheep numero dis. Skull Red Bird, the highest attack monster in LOB. Uh, four star, four star attack monster, four or less. Tripwire Beast. This creature attacks with electromagnetic waves. They had nice, simple descriptions back then. Kumu Toko. You'd think something named Kumu Toko would have a long description. It doesn't. It just says, a massive intelligent spider that traps enemies with webbing. So that's it for Kumu Toko. Forest, beautiful looking green on that card. Skull Servant, a skeletal ghost that isn't strong, but can mean trouble in large numbers. And it does indeed when you get a lot of Skull Servants. Green Phantom King and the final card, will it be Blue Eyes? Two pronged attack. All right, that could take out Blue Eyes. It just costs you three cards to do it. But hey, it could happen two for four now. Come on, let's end with an ultra rare or secret rare. Ultra rare would be amazing. Blue Eyes, Dark Magician, Exodia, Red Eyes, Guy the Fierce Knight, Monster Reborn last pack magic make sure you guys subscribe if you enjoyed this video make sure to thank lars in the comments guys it is a pretty uh it's a pretty epic opening that he has provided for us blue eyes white dragon 10 it's not the longest opening because there's only five packs but we don't get to see these every day i don't get to do these very often anymore one two three four so very exciting shout out to him we have petite dragon last pack magic root water don't forget to subscribe to the channel Drooling Lazard. If you guys want to purchase something from me, check out Ruxum34.com. And if you are a Patreon or YouTube member, I post some things like this available. It's exclusive for you guys, a little discount. So go check that out on those posts. Drooling Lazard. We have Sparks. R Mail. The 13th Grave. How many cards? Okay, this is six. You, Robbie. I think we have one more here. The Two Mouth Dark Ruler. And then our last chance at a foil. Will it be the Blue Eyes White Dragon from 2002? We are up to 20 two years old at this point i was i'm gonna say 24 we're not in 2026 yet i'm not that old okay last card here we go oh a reaper of the cards well it is not a foil it is 1380 attack 1930 defense and that is just weird and first set ever you might as well do something weird because it wasn't that weird back then because it was the first time it had ever happened so very interesting to see that hopefully you guys enjoyed that video that was super fun make sure to thank Lars in the comments Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Anessa Dianda, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Brandon Cheney, Ian Musa, Junior Barning, Robert F., Changalang, Adelso Garcia Jr., and Edwin K. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.